What up, Street Talks? Eric Kim. All right, the thought. This one is about fear marketing 101. So I don't like it, but essentially, you know, human nature is. Um, it's somewhat malleable, but I'm starting to think that like human nature, it's like 80% biology and physiology and just us being animals and 20% sociology or morals and ethics and stuff like that. So we could bend things to a certain degree. That's what like, you know, stoicism, Zen and, and shit like that tries to do. However, ultimately I think we're going to be very, very much swayed by um, fear. So why is fear such a strong emotion? So probably if you could ever read one book about human psychology, it would be Daniel Kahneman's Thinking Fast comma, and Thinking Slow. And the general gist is humans to be risk averse and to be quite fearful was a good survival mechanism for a lot of humans because you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. So for example, let's say you hear a, a rumble in the bush. Then what that means is, um, you know, it's better to mistake a rumble in the bush for being a bear to prevent you from dying rather than worrying about, you know, uh, you know, maybe the potentiality of you, uh, dying from, uh, you know, so like, for example, you hear a rumbling in the bush, let's say in reality it's just a raccoon, but humans, we, we might mistaken thinking that it's a bear, and we were kind of afraid that's a bear. And so having that high level anxiety could actually be, you know, beneficial to humans. But anyways, so taking it back to fear marketing. So, you know, if anyone from the CDC or, you know, public health peoples, you guys are watching this, so if you really want to get people to um, comply with wearing face masks, the best thing to say is actually not, is like, make sure other people don't want to infect you, put on a face mask. And what's up, man? Um, and so, and also like, if you want people to, you know, sign up for your workshop or buy your products, FOMO, you know, if you're uh, missing out, the FOMO marketing seems to actually be the most effective form of marketing. So even if you really want a guy, your friends to show up to your party, the best way to get them to show up is that like, oh, it'll be so much fun. If you're gonna, if you don't show up, you're gonna miss out on the fun. Is actually more effective than saying, um, oh, come to the party, it'll be really fun. So, I mean, truth be told, I don't really believe in too much like ultimate ethics in terms of like good and evil. I mean, I say evil like loosely. I typically think that evil behaviors, this is where I think like Instagram's a little bit evil in the sense that like any anything or company or entity or whatever that creates profit based on human social emotions and insecurities, I consider that quote, quote, evil. However, um, it's all just, you know, totally subjective. But anyways, so how can we use fear marketing in an effective way? So I think all tools, all sociological psychology tools, it's like, it just depends on how you use it, right? Like fire is good to cook meat and to warm your house during the winter. Fire is not good if you want to burn down someone's villages and so forth. So just know that the sword other always cuts both ways and you know the the basic notion is the dosage is the poison too and how you use a tool will determine the, the ethical and moralistic uh, consequences but anyways so taking it back to fear marketing i think the reason why the fitness industry you know protein powders and stuff like that Essentially, it's all FOMO marketing, where it's like the fear of not maximizing your gains is the, the worst fear, right? So guys take protein powders and all these strange supplements because they're afraid of not being able to maximize their gains. Uh, similarly speaking, 
uh, Wired magazine had a pretty good thing where it's like, subscribe to Wired because don't be, don't leave, don't be left behind. No one wants to be left behind. And even the, the church and religion, the fear is I don't want to go to hell, rather I want to go to heaven. Because I don't know about you, but the thought of being in hell for eternity sounds far worse than living in heavenly bliss in heaven for the, 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 the rest of your life too. And so, certainly there are very good evolutionary reasons to be risk averse and fear averse, but this is where us entrepreneurs who are a little bit crazier, we could actually utilize fear marketing in a very effective way where we could actually override our natural biology. So in some ways, you know, a lot of people don't end up starting entrepreneurial ventures because they're afraid, right? They're afraid of failure, social stigma, bankruptcy, going broke, whatever. And I'm actually lucky that I had a hard knock life in so far much as my mom's done bankruptcy, I think twice maybe. And I actually realized it's actually kind of not that big of a deal. And so as a consequence, I have no fear when it comes to entrepreneurship. And I mean, uh, even for me, like the fear of hurting other people's feelings still kind of hurts me back, but I'm actually trying to really uh, override that because I care, you know, I still care a lot about what pe other people's opinions is of me. Um, but moving forward, how can you use fear marketing in effective ways? So first and foremost, kind of learn how to identify when it's being used uh, against you, which means when you see marketing materials that make you afraid of not maximizing blah blah, uh, you know, try to control whether you want to be suckered by that or not. Like for example, even with cameras or you know the newest iPhone, whatever. Always the fear is I'm not going to be able to maximize my creative potential, or like. Even the, the notion of not upgrading to the newest iPhone is, you, there's a fear that you're not gonna be able to be maximally productive. And so, you know, us marketers and entrepreneurs, we could also harness that the other way. So, best to tell people not to miss out on a good deal or an opportunity is uh, pretty effective, but with fear marketing, you know, like, it's kind of like a sword, right? You can use it to defend people, you can use it to kill people. Uh, determine how you decide you want to yield your powers, and hopefully it's for good.